All right, let's go ahead and add in the reflection on our bottle. So in our reference from Rayman, you see there's this nice white reflection that goes almost all the way around the bottle. This is what we're going to create right now. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer above this. Then I'm gonna select the shape of my bottle. So I'll hold Control or Command and click my thumbnail on my layer. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a white. And then I'm gonna switch over to my brush tool and I wanna make sure I'm on a soft edged brush to start off with. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting around these edges. And I wanna make sure that my brush opacity is set to two so we can slowly layer this up. Also, it's important to notice that every single spot does not have a highlight around it. And some areas are fatter and thicker than others. So for example, on the round edge of our bottle right here, you'll see that it's a lot fatter. And then on this edge, it's a lot thinner. On that side, it's a lot fatter. And a lot of this just has to do with light source. Now don't worry too much about the light source. Just anytime you're creating a glass object in your game, go ahead and add a highlighted edge around the edge of it and areas that wouldn't be getting much reflection or highlight, don't highlight it. Like for example, down here at the bottom at the base, there's not really gonna be much highlight there. All right, let's go ahead and continue. So just kind of copying what we're seeing here. We're gonna go ahead and just add that highlight in. And the top part of our bottle is basically completely highlighted. Got some highlight there. We'll come around this edge. And then we have a little bit of highlight here and a little bit of highlight right there. So now we have the base for our highlight. Let's go ahead and really detail this in and fill it in. So first, I'm gonna shrink my brush size down because there's gonna be some areas like down here at the bottom where I'm gonna wanna make it really small. Let's go ahead and keep layering this until we get it to the brightness that we want it. Because basically on these edges, it's gonna be completely white. I'm gonna come down and around the bottom like so. This doesn't have to be completely perfect. We can always come back and erase stuff. Then over here we have this pretty fat, thick highlight, so we'll add that in. And it might take a couple of layers. Now just like our wood texture, this is going to be a process of layering and erasing and using our color picker to find mid-tone colors. And you'll notice that every time I add a new layer on top of the other one, it gets brighter because that white is being layered. So it's a little transparent right now, but as we layer it, it becomes more and more, more opaque. And if we layer it enough, eventually it's gonna be completely opaque, which just means it's not going to be see-through at all. So remember that as we get down here, we don't want it to be as bright, but sometimes we might paint it in a little bit too bright. So we can always come back in with our eraser like this. So I've just switched over to my erase tool 
and I'm only going to bring the opacity of my eraser down to 1% by hitting the number one on my keyboard. And now I can go ahead and slowly erase this away to kind of fade it out. Now I want to create a shadow between these two highlights because this part of the bottle is sitting on top of the stand and so I want to have a little bit of a distinction between them. So I'm going to switch over to my erase tool, bring my brush size down, and then I can kind of erase that away slowly. Perfect. Switch back over to my brush tool and I'm going to continue adding the highlight along the edge. Another reason why I like to add it in layers is because it can be pretty difficult to just paint a perfect curved line around this edge. And so by painting it in layers, you can slowly build it up and erase away until you get that perfect curve in there. So even if you're using a mouse, it makes it a lot easier to get that curve because you can always come back and take little bits away at a time and add little bits at a time. So once you get to about this point, you're gonna to wanna to start really filling in these edges so they become really opaque because once we fill our bottle with our liquid, we don't wanna see the liquid through the white part of the bottle. We want that to be a complete solid white. So now we really need to start filling that in. I'm gonna bring my brush opacity up to 50% by hitting the number five on my keyboard. And now I can really fill that in. And we just want this on the edge. Towards the center of the bottle over here, we want it to start blending in and fading into transparent. Great, next let's go ahead and add in some of these little highlights that you see on the bottle. So like down here, we're gonna go ahead and start to paint this guy in, like so. And I might bring my brush opacity down to 1% because we want to really soften this and blend it into the transparency. But it's basically just a curved little lips. Just like so. And then while my brush is at 1% opacity, we can go ahead and kind of start blending in on these edges into our transparent area. And if you do mess up, you can always go ahead and undo that move. You can undo as many moves as you want. Great. Now these edges that are supposed to be blended in, they look a little bit too rough for me and not smooth enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser and then I'm gonna make sure I'm on a soft edged brush. I'll bring up my size. And then, then I'm gonna bring my opacity down to 20%. And then I'm just going to go ahead and slowly start erasing into this. And that's gonna help it blend into the transparency. Because transparency is not an actual color that you can blend with, you can't really take the mid color and then start blending it. Because if you remember, we're not gonna have this dark gray shape back here when we're done, that's gonna be gone. So if we turn that off, you'll see we'll be left with this. So we wanna make sure that we're blending into transparency and not blending into a color.
All right, great. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna add this really big highlight right here. Now, this highlight is pretty solid and has pretty hard edges. So the way we're gonna create it is we're gonna add a new layer above this layer. And then using my circular marquee tool, I'm gonna go ahead and create a perfect circle like so. And then I'm gonna fill that in with white. So switching over to my fill tool, I'll fill that in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my transform tool and drag it over here into place. Then I'm gonna right click and use my warp tool. So I'll click that. And now what I can do is I can grab this grid and I can warp this into whatever shape I want. So I'm gonna to try to replicate this little shape right there on the bottle. Great, now let's go ahead and hit enter. Then we're gonna turn the transform tool on once again, and now you'll see that grid system is gone and it solidified that shape. So let's go ahead and rotate this a little bit so it fits onto our bottle better. Then we're gonna shrink it down. Hold down shift to keep the proportions. And then I'm going to warp this again. So I'm gonna right click and come to warp. And the reason for this is that now that I have it in position, I wanna make sure that it lines up with the curve of our bottle. So as this bottle comes around, it's going to have a different curve in each area. So if we're looking at the curve right here in the center, it's just going to be a straight line. If we're looking at it between the center and this curve, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So if you can imagine a pumpkin, you see this with a pumpkin. The middle line is straight and the ones further away are more curved and the ones on the very edge are the most curved lines. And so we wanna make this look like it's actually reflected onto our bottle. So we're just gonna to try to mimic the curve of our bottle as best as possible. Something like so should be good. We'll go ahead and hit enter. Perfect. I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit more. That brings us to the end of this lecture. So in this lecture, you learn how to create the highlights and the reflections on your bottle. In the next lecture, we're gonna go ahead and fill the bottle with some of this golden contents. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.